we're going to be talking about how to use SchoolTube's timeline tool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in and then you're going to go up here and head to My Media. Now once you get to My Media, you are going to want to select the video that you would like to edit. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video here as it's a filler video. So once you get here and you have your video, you're going to head to Actions, Edits, and then once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click Timeline. Now, timeline, the Timeline tool is what we are going to be learning to use today. And basically what the Timeline tool allows you to do is to create chapters and basically upload slides that you can have uh, scattered throughout your very own video. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and upload our PDF. And since this is an example, I'm just going to be using a simple uh, stock image here of this guy just chilling in a field in his desk chair. And we're going to be pretending that this is an educational slide. So I'm going to go ahead and hit back to timeline. And now, as you can see, with these gears working here, it's going ahead and uploading that PDF for me. And once it is loaded, it is going to appear on this timeline here, which spans for the whole length of the video. And I'm going to be able to choose when I want the slide to show up, where I want it to show up, and all that good stuff. So, as we can tell, I now have uploaded my PDF that's hanging out in my corner here. And I can choose to resize it how I want. I can choose to have it be split screen. I can make it disappear. And there we go, we'll bring it back. So this is where it is. It has it right at the start here at zero seconds. But let's say maybe I don't want my cool guy that's chilling over here to show up until around 14 seconds. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to name him. So let's name him chill guy and we can add a description for him we're gonna say chill guy in a field and let's see let's have him show up at 14 oh, oh 24 my bad 14 and then we're gonna go ahead and hit save so now my chill guy chill guy in a field um, is saved and he is going to pop up at 14 seconds as you can see right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit view in player. Alrighty. So once all of this is up and up, you don't have to just upload one PDF, you can upload multiple. Just So just as we uploaded Chill Guy in a field, you can upload multiple Chill Guys in a field. You can have um, PDFs of lessons that you learn, that you want your kids to learn. You can have example paragraphs. Um, for instance, uh, these are uh, example uh, AP exams that you could upload and have your kids uh, walk through them with you in preparation for their exams and you can upload as many as you the want. Add a chapter tool. So this right here is the add PDF, add your uploads as a chill guy in the field uh, feature. But uh, let's see, we'll start at zero seconds right here. If you go ahead and click this bookmark, it would like you to add a chapter. You can upload your own thumbnail, choose your time, uh, add search tags, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, Since this is the start of the explainer video, we can just name this the beginning of explainer. And this is just a good way to chop up your video and make it more digestible for your students. And then let's see. So that's chapter one and we've got chill guy PDF hanging out here. And let's see, let's add another chapter just because this video is pretty short, but we can always add more. So we're gonna add a second chapter. Let's do it around 40 seconds. So as you can see, it just jumped up there. So we'll name this the middle of explainer. And here you can add what happens in the section so that people have an idea of what's going on in your video. And then of course you can add search terms here just so people know what's up. 
your students will appreciate you greatly. And then we're going to go ahead and save it. And now we have two chapters in our video and also we have our chill guy in a field that can be whatever you would like him to be. He can be a worksheet, a quiz, anything you'd like your students to follow along with. And this is how you use the SchoolTube timeline tool. If you have any questions, make sure to come up here to help. Uh, you can go uh, to our support, send an email. Um, also, we have, of course, these how-to videos, and we're here to support you in anything you need. Uh, have a nice day, and this is how you use the timeline.